Shalom, all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahshua Bashim Kakadash. No honors to the elder apostle Great Millstone. A citation to teach all truth and sincerity. Um, this can be called adultery. Um, I was on Facebook this week and um, I saw this and um, recently um, this woman, uh, uh, her name is Cardi B. Um, she just recently um, filed for divorce from her her, her husband, um, Offset, um, who's uh, one of the members of Amigos, and um, she not just divorced him, but she also revealed that she's pregnant with his 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 child, and this dude right here shot his shot at her while she was on on live on Instagram. And um, I considered this adultery because um, it is adultery and um, because you're not supposed to shoot your shot at a woman who um, is, uh, you know, recently, you know, separated or, or recently um, divorced, you know. That's adultery, you know, you know, because one, her husband is not dead Two, she's pregnant. She, she's not, um, you know, you know, th there's a, there's, um, in certain other situations, but in this situation, this, this is considered adultery because, um, you know, that's why I understand this is this is an adulterous generation. You know, people are encouraging this type of behavior in this society because when other people heard about him doing this, they encouraged him to do it because she's so, so beautiful. Which doesn't matter if a woman is beautiful, if she is was recently with someone and, you know, she's in a condition where it's you know, better for her to not deal with anybody until after the condition is over. You know, because that's even gross to deal with a woman that's pregnant. And, um, you know, you know, and, and she's not, <clears throat> you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, Shooting your shot at her or dealing with her in her condition is wicked. You know, it's just wicked. But anyway, not to get off topic, I'm just going to go to the scriptures and just pull out scriptures on it. So this is Exodus 20 and verse 14. It says, thou should not commit adultery. And plain and simple, we're not supposed to, um, you know. You know, even though in this society, these women out here, you know, we're not going to find a, a, it's hard to find a woman that's a virgin in society. And, you know, you know, we're, we're, our, our people are defiled. We, we, you know, we, we're dealing with women that are polluted, you know, they, they're, they're uh, hopping from one dude to the next, no matter what their situation is. They could be pregnant. They could they could just recently uh, a month ago dated somebody and now that now they're back in the market. Or or you know, get what I'm saying? Like these women don't care uh what their situation is. They'll go after another dude or they'll allow a dude to flirt with them even though they're in a relationship. You know, because you know like uh the scriptures say don't don't um don't marvel if she trespass against thee, you know. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna go to another scripture. <sighs> Proverbs six and verse thirty-two. It's Proverbs six and verse thirty-two. It says, "But whosoever committed adultery with a woman lack of understanding, he that doeth it destroyeth his own soul." Yeah, because that dude who shies thee, um, he. He uh, lacks understanding, you know, because 
if he was in his right mind, he would understand that committing uh, shooting a shot at her in her in her condition when she just recently, you know, divorced, you know, recently uh, filed for divorce from Offset, you know, it wouldn't be wise because it's like she's pregnant with this man's baby, and you know, in her, in her condition, her dealing with extra dudes is wicked. And, and it's gross because you're polluting the child with that extra dude's DNA. So the child will come out bugged out even more. Not just, you know, you're not just affecting yourself, but you're affecting the unborn child that you have if, if you deal with him. That's the way I look at it. It's just like it's totally wicked. You, like you shouldn't deal with a woman that ha- in that condition, you know. No matter if she's willing, like if she's willing, that tells me she was the problem from the very beginning. It wasn't him, even you know. But anyway, that's just my opinion. You know, the way I look at it is like you break up with a dude and you're pregnant. Like that, like there was a a point where, you know, you didn't want to um, conform to his program, so you know, he just let you go, or you know, y'all just parted ways, you know. But not to go off topic. The point is, you know, it's adultery. It's wicked. You know, y'all, you know, but in the society, they encourage, you know, to, you know, go from man to man. And and they encourage a woman and, and, and another dude who know the woman's ex to just come together and, and you know, um, you know. I'll be your shoulder to cry on thing, you know. But um I'm gonna go to Mark um ten verse twelve. Mark ten verse twelve it says Um if a woman Mark ten verse twelve says, and if a woman shall put away her husband and be married to another, she committed adultery. You know, because sex is marriage. So, you know, Cardi B, who filed for divorce, she's trying to put away her husband. And so she can be, you know, back on the market to find a, another dude that will so-called not cheat on her. You know, because Offset, you know, he um, always dealt with many women, which is not going off, you know, Um but she couldn't handle that, you know. But not to dug into the relationship, the point is, you know, if she go on to another man, basically it's committing adultery, you know. You know. I'm going to go to uh, Matthew 5, verse 27. It's Matthew 5, verse 27 says, You have heard that it was said, by them of old time, thou should not commit adultery. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her have committed adultery in his heart. So Pooh Shiesty, you know, he's looking upon Cardi B to lust after her, you know, because he, he was saying in his um his shooting his shot, he said, I'm, I'm five minutes away. I'm pull up to the door, you know, um, basically he was trying to come through and Netflix and chill with her. And to deal with her, you know, personally, you know, because, you know, he, he, he understands that she's out here, you know, single, but she's not out here just single. She's out here single, barefoot and pregnant. So, you know, that's a red flag, you know, in my eyes and, in, you know, in, in a righteous, wise man's eyes, it, it's a red flag and, and that's off limits, you know, to deal with. But in a wicked man, in an unwise wicked man's eyes, that's free game, fair game. She ain't with him no more. And that that's a unwise wicked man ideology and, and mind state, you know. But you know that's 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 the mind state of this world and a mind state of these people. They encourage idolatry. They encourage um, slacky not. Well, yeah, I you know. They encourage adultery. You know, adultery is promoted so much in this society that people just use it. You know, people 
uh, automatically make that the normal thing that adultery is normal. Like it's a normal thing in this wicked world, which is not normal. That that is an unwise um, way to go because you're not just dealing with a woman. You're dealing with another man's woman. That's 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 gross. And, and, you know, anyway. I'm going to end it right here. I'm going to say all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yashai, Bashim Kakadash, the honors to the elder apostle, great millstone, and such hate you I can teach all truth, sincerity, and shalom.